This is Dr. Lou Sella, sport and performance psychologist here. Now, if you ran inside Veer, you can triple team the defensive tackle if it's a load scheme, which means basically if it's a, like a 4-2 defense where you've got number one here touching the tackle, number two next to him, and then there's nobody else. This is the deep defender. And so basically, as long as uh, number three is inside the box, you can load it. This allows you to triple team because what's going to happen is the, the guard's going to post, tackle's going to come down, left knee, left hand, four inch northbound step, center's going to snap the ball, open flat, get to the guard's hip, and then right knee, right hand, four inch northbound steps. He's left knee, left hand, four inch northbound steps, by the way. Guard takes two steps up the field, nose in the V, slams his hands through the two tech. Backside guard blocks the spine of the center. Backside tackle blocks the spine of the backside guard. Backside receiver sprints to the goalpost. Place that A-back steps with his inside foot, and he's going to work to get uh, through the mic with his left knee, left hand, four and northbound steps. If the mic blitzes or isn't there, he'll end up on the safety. The receiver's going to sprint up the field. He's going to, when he gets a yard away from the corner, he's going to break down, throw his hands through the sternum of the corner, Take four inch northbound steps from there. The receiver's responsibility is to block the strong safety to the off corner to the end zone. There's no strong safety, but there's an off corner there, so that's what he's going to do. Now, you're going to say, well, what about the free safety? Well, first of all, he's in a location where he would end up getting late help on the pitch anyway. And in speaking to another college football program, they're not as concerned about the safety as they used to be because their data proves the safeties don't make that great of an impact on the play. Interesting. Quarterback takes the snap, jumps play side, points the ball. The B sprints through the ball, sprints through the play side hip of the tackle, sprints through the end zone. If number one takes the B, quarterback replaces him and scores. If two takes the Q, stops his feet, flicks to the A coming around. He's going to leave as close to the snap as possible. No more than a step and a half in the ground by the time the ball snapped. Hammer step, big wide 90 degree step, two 135 degree steps. Turn up at 60 degrees to catch the pitch, hit the seam and score. <clears throat> this is how you're able to triple team the defensive tackle on inside veer. But let me put this into perspective. You really should only be running inside veer if this guy's taking the B back on his own dive. So it'd be a pull pitch anyway. So do you really need to triple team them? I'm just saying. But I wanted to show you how to do it just so you want to give it a shot. Coaches, you want to win big in 2024, pick up the phone and give me a call. My number is on the thumbnail of this video. So is my website. The Triple Option Football Academy and Triple Option Football Academy Camps will show you how. Go to TripleOptionFootball.com slash testimonials. Or you can see all the success stories that come from the camps and the academy. Academy's nine ninety seven. You get the academy for two years. Camps start at nineteen ninety seven. The academy is included with the camp. Go to TripleOptionFootball.com to learn more and give me a call. See you in the next video. Talk soon.